Oh, I didn't quite get the route up to the low up to level six. So let's go back to service mode and get the shed out. Spring clear will do. Put a little bit of clouds, a bit of wind. Little trick. You'll notice the EWS ones look exactly the same. Actually, on that monitor, I can't really tell the difference between them. I think that's the right one. We'll soon see. Right, let's go for... Acton to New Haven Aggregates 107. Yep, that's the right one. It's got the right EM2000 on it. So we are all good. These all need switching on. That needs putting it forward. We need daylights, instrument lights. Don't need the desk lights. Great timing is passenger timing. That's fine for this train. Brakes are cut in, which is good. There's tutorials for every locomotive, or every cab essentially has a tutorial. Brakes cut in and cut out effectively are for when you've got two locos in and you want to make one of them the master and the other one the slave. If it's not actually, if you don't want that lever to do anything because you're in a different cab, you need to cut the brakes out. And that disconnects it. So this is a load of empties. and DSD, those warning indicators are now off. Did BBK remind me of what, Tordek? Isn't that the same with the cutting valve and heavy oil? Exactly the same, Ronak. In reality on the 66, it's not brake cutting and cut out is not done on here. Um, it's done on the in you have to do the uh, the clean air room in back here somewhere. But that we're not gonna model that just to put a valve in. Right, we're on our way. So we take the empties down to New Haven, fill them up, run round, and then bring them back up again. Oh yeah, that was Beric Tordek. That was um, we did that. That was because I had a, a, a suspicion that it had the dynamic um, field stuff in it, and we proved that it did. Changing over. There goes the amps again. GDA, I've got AA turned up. I'm not running in 4K. My machine's not quite new enough to do 4K. But I run with FXAA, not TAA, I think. 
Come on, Brightly. Yeah, FXAA with 130%. That means that I get all the blurring that TAA provides. I'm just not fussed by 4K to be honest. <laughs> I haven't got any 4K televisions in the house anywhere, so I'm not really planning on buying any. Night GWR. Night GWR. If someone can find me a service that does it, then I'll happily run it. I can't remember what services do it though. Oh, the human eye can definitely perceive 4K. Definitely perceive 4K. People didn't think you could see anything faster than 30 frames per second for a long time though, and that's rubbish as well. <laughs> Well, if you get it close enough together, there's a couple button head. Oh, you can! I can clearly see the difference between thirty and sixty, night and day. Twenty-two fifty-two. All right, thank you, Ed. Yeah, all my stuff is 1080 in the house. It took me ages to go to 1080, to be honest. I was 720 for a long time. I'm a bit of a Luddite when it comes to televisions. I think they should last ages. I'll not have to be replaced and upgraded every couple of years. So, I'm getting... I just shut the engine down. Frame rate I'm getting, I'm locked at 60. I'm frame limited to 60. I've set it to a 60 cap. No, I actually did shut the engine down. Yay me, I pressed shift Z. <laughs> No, we're going to have to stop. Try we can probably coast in the rest of the journey, to be honest. <laughs>
Yeah, it's F3. Turn on the frame rate counter. <coughs> Stat FPS doesn't work in your published game, Ed. It'll just wind everybody up. Uh, the two on the on the menu selection menu Moggy, they are very different shades of uh, of the maroon. And you want the lighter one. And when you're in it, look at that and notice it's blue, and that tells you it's the right one. Call on. Ah, still not going to do it. Here's so and so. Why do I use frame lock? Because otherwise you get situations where the frame count is whapping all over the place and I get 130 frames per second or then down to 50. And then you notice it. Whereas if it limits to 60 and it goes 60, 50, 60, 50, you never notice it. And 60 is more than enough. I'm only streaming at 60, so. As long as it's a nice stable 60, it's more than enough. That's correct, Moggy. The lighter one is East Coast, is the ECW one, uh, and it has the blue menu in the cab. Uh, my graphics are maxed out, um, but and there is there are still opportunities for improvement on sleepers. Um, there are some any settings that you can do, um, which if you've got the hardware will let you bump out the uh, the stuff. If you look on Steam guides. Yeah, we were talking about that today, actually, Leg Catcher. The shadow distance is tough, Amar. We've tried pushing the shadow distance out, and in some cases it can massacre the FPS. No, it's Unreal Engine 4, GDA. No, the roots haven't been changed, Rob. I told you we could just coast in with the engine turned off. <laughs> Silence. 